Hello everyone. So today we have s raised to the power 2 minus s raised to the power 3 equals to 12. And s is the unknown. So if we say solution, we can write s raised to the power 2 minus x raised to the power of 3 is equal to 12. And this a typical polynomial equation with the highest power of 3, that's cubic polynomial. And now we are expected three answers from here. And also I will write x raised to the power 2 minus s raised to the power 3 minus 12 equals to 0. Rewriting this to have the highest power, which is cube, first it will be minus s cube minus x plus s squared minus 12 is equal to 0. And at this point, we want to derive two numbers from 12 in such a way that the two numbers will have the same base but respective power of 2 and 3, like x. And what comes to mind is 4 and 8. And 4 can be written as 2 raised to power 2, while 8 can be written as 2 raised to power 3. Yeah, successfully we have these numbers and the base are the same, which is 2. The powers are 2 and 3, like we have for s. So if we bring this in, it will become minus s cubed plus x squared minus 4 plus 8 equals to 0. So this becomes minus s cubed plus x squared minus 4 is 2 raised to the power 2 plus 2 raised to the power 3 equals to 0. And here we allow the minus to open the bracket. This becomes s raised to the power 3 plus s raised to the power 2 minus 2 raised to the power 2 minus 2 raised to the power 3 is equal to 0. And since s raised to the power 3 is negative, we need to multiply through by minus 1. So minus 1 times minus s raised to the power 3 to be plus x raised to the power 3 minus s raised to the power 2 plus 2 raised to the power 2 plus 2 raised to the power 3 equals to 0. And we will group them according to their powers, that is s raised to the power 3 plus 2 raised to the power 3 minus x raised to the power 2 plus 2 raised to the power 2 equals to 0. And for that grouping, we mean s raised to the power 3 plus 2 raised to the power 3 minus s raised to the power 3 minus 2 raised to the power 2 equals to 0. So if you use this minus to open up the bracket, you get this back. So we are fine. If you remember a raised to the power 3 plus a raised to plus b raised to the power 3 is equal to a plus b multiplied by a squared minus a b plus b squared. Our a is x and b is 2. And also we have a raised to the power 2 minus b raised to the power 2, which is given as a plus b times a minus b. And these are algebraic identities that will help us manipulate our equation. So if I want to apply this here, it will be x plus 2 into x squared minus 2x, which is a times b plus 2 squared minus x plus 2 x minus 2 equals to 0. So if we simplify further, we have x plus 2 x squared minus 2x plus 4 
minus x plus 2 x minus 2 equal to 0 we have s plus 2 and s plus 2 on both sides so we can factor it out as s plus 2 so this term divided by s plus 2 to be left with x squared minus 2x plus 4 minus this term divided by s plus 2 to be left with x minus 2 equals to 0. And now we have x plus 2. Here x squared minus 2s plus 4 minus the minus we open up the bracket to be minus x plus 2 equals to 0. So x plus 2 x squared minus minus 2s minus s is minus 3x plus 4 plus 2 which is 6 is equal to 0. So here we apply the 0 product rule that 6x plus 2 is equal to 0 or here s squared minus 3x plus 6 is equal to 0. And from here we have s is equal to minus 2 which is our first value for s and this other part we have it as a quadratic equation so we will employ the quadratic formula that says s is equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a where our a is 1, our b is minus 3, and c is 6. So to substitute our value, we have s equal to minus, minus 3 plus or minus square root of minus 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times 6 all over 2 times 1 so s will be equal to minus times minus will be 3 plus or minus square root of minus 3 squared is 9 minus 4 times 1 times 6 which is 24 all over 2 times 1 is 2. So s will be equals to 3 plus or minus square root of minus 15. 9 minus 24 is minus 15 all over 2. Here the negative makes it an imaginary number because it cannot be found on a number line. So here we we'll bring it a complex aspect of it that says s equals to 3 plus or minus square root of minus 1 times 15 all over 2. But if we have a times b square root of is the same thing as a square root times square root of b. So we apply it here. Our s will be equals to 3 plus or minus square root of minus 1 times square root of 15 all over 2. So s will be equals to 3 plus or minus i square root of 15 all over 2. Square root of minus 1, same thing as i. So our values for s, s1 is equal to minus 2 that we have previously s equals to minus 2 and x2 equals to 3 plus i square root of 15 all over 2 and x3 is equal to 3 minus i square root of 15 all over 2 
So these are the three values of S that can satisfy our original equation. Thank you for staying tuned.